Okay, so good morning everybody. This finally came in. And when I say finally, I meant finally it came in. Uh, this is the Ryuki Legend Series belt. One of the only belts that act that is actually worth getting. And in fact, it's kind of, uh, it's actually accurate for once because the, D the DX original ones, they, uh, the coloring is not actually right. Uh, well, except for Ryuki, but even then it was kind of wrong. And uh, if you notice, I bought two. The reason for that is because, well, you could say one for Knight and one for Ryuki. And if you're an American, uh, that would be Dragon Knight and Wing Knight. Even though that name sounds fine with me too. Um, so we're not. So we're just gonna look at one. And I also bought a, bought two for another reason. So it comes with two decks, which is uh, very, which is actually uh, very nice for the uh, Legend series to come with because. This, this deck only actually makes two sound, and has one hidden sound. Looking at the top... There they are... And the belt is fairly accurate. The original DX one I, was uh, shiny chrome, which I thought was kind of... not fitting. It was very out of place. But of course there are some things that are different about it. The belt system is actually different, and they don't have holes for buckles, which I'll cut holes for. Let's see, it makes no mention of the hidden sound anywhere. Oh, and this has a buckle, uh, supposedly. It's nice, let me guess, the other side is Ryuki, yeah, it's Ryuki. Bottom says the same thing. So, let us chap this open. It doesn't matter which side, as long as it gets opened and it exits one of them. Waiting for this because I have drag visor and stuff. Stuff is there any goodies? Well, probably not because, huh? That's that's a little strange because lots of people are like, oh, they don't usually come with instructions. This one seems to come with instructions just in case, huh? This kind of looks like a survey for. Um, Let's see, common, no, that's not, the, that didn't say common rider. Oh, wait, no, yes, it does. It says common rider without actually saying common rider. Must have been like the Mandarin version. Uh. There's Knight's deck. That's tiny, but, huh. Wasn't expecting much. Um, hmm. Belt attached onto the back. Something tells me. Something tells me. Uh, just, just something a little disappointing is gonna happen. Just, just, just something. Just a little. Also comes with. Uh, I forgot to say this, even though it showed on the cover. There's going to be four cards included in this, which uh, will fit in the drag visor. And when I say will, I mean after you punch holes into them. Huh, that's interesting. Where'd the cards go? Excuse me. Hey, where are the cards? That was bad. I almost ripped it up or took it out the wrong way. Knight, you're not hiding the cards, are you? Huh. Okay, it's not actually black. It's actually a little blue, but most uh, re uh, video reviews on YouTube don't show it that well because their camera sucks. I mean, you can even see it on um, my camera. It's actually a little dark purplish, but definitely blue. Oh, well, at least I have a deck now. That's to hold my Ryuki card. And Ryuki's one is actually black, because uh, there's that. There's the 13 Rider deck, which has it come in red, uh, which is not a right, not the right color, and uh, I think the original DX one did come in black, but it was a different type. Ah! 
There's the cards. Thanks for hiding it. Okay, just just so I don't destroy the cards. I'm gonna cut it. So comes the four cards and it has these why do you have like the Japanese text over like over and the Japanese text and the Japanese description? Just have it in English. P kids and people will know what it what the cards are. No, we gotta add a description to it in case the kids don't know, because you know they watched Ryuki and just buy the toy without thinking, right? Yeah. Hmm. Card quality is very interesting. Definitely gonna punch holes into this, and if you're and for those thinking like, oh, that might be a bad idea. Well, I already have a different deck with um, the cards in it. All oh, right. Okay, final event first. Because everyone on YouTube always puts it the other way around. It's final event first, then the advent one. Because well, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just it doesn't feel proper. Ah, even better comparison. Uh, dark blue, correct, and black. Don't know why, dark red would have made a little bit more sense. And here is the belt, and you can see there's no holes. The reason I bring that up is because that's kind of important. Oh, can you easily... Nope, it's, you can't just easily uh, put that out. So, looking at the entire thing. Okay, there's the battery compartment, obvious. Ah, buckles. The original one didn't have a buckle, I believe. Making this one... A lot more convenient on and off switch over here. Oh, this is actually a button over here. There's a little flip over here. Very weird, though. LED over there and the trigger stuff. Ah, there's a little button over here where you, where when the deck hits the, touches it, it'll create a certain sound. And the other buckles. Or not buckles, the uh, straps. Wow. That's very tiny. And videos on YouTube don't show that very well. Now I can see the difference, but I'm going to bring out some another belt to compare. Here's the D. Here's the Legend Series, and here's the DX uh, Decayed Belt. Technically, same belt, but it's just smaller by a few centimeters. Let's see if it actually fits. Well, technically, it does fit. So you could technically, technically, use it with a DX belt. I wouldn't recommend it, I suppose, but... Who am I to say? Are there instructions? Okay. There are also the letterings telling you which side to put it on. Okay. No real customization. And most Legend Series belts attach like this. And these look even shorter than the DX belt. Uh, but enough of that. Let's actually put some batteries in this and, uh... See the sound, even though there's not a whole lot, but there is a hidden sound, so that kind of makes up for it. Granted, it's a completely irrelevant sound. You know what, I don't even know why I'm using brand new batteries for something that only has two sounds, but, you know, for testing sakes, we'll just use it for that. I'll take these batteries out later. All right. All right. Also, the Legend series also are is very quiet. Speaking of quiet, where's the speakers? Nope, they didn't hide it there. That would have been dumb. Oh well. That was pretty quiet. Oh, 
Okay, it's from the front somewhere, but where? Hang on, people. Okay, if anyone can tell me where the speakers are, I'd like to know. I have a feeling that's on the inside, and because it sounds very muffled. It sounds like it's coming from... Oh, no! It's down here. Very well hidden, I must say. So, that's a henchin. Henshin! Yeesh. Well, that didn't hit it very well. Then again, I'm using it from a different stand. It doesn't, the, the decks don't clip, uh, they don't clip on together, so that was, yeah, it's very quiet, even, even like this, so that's a little disappointing, well, but then I wasn't, ex I was expecting that. I can say that the, that the extra, that having an extra deck come with it is, is nice. Getting these cards out isn't too nice. And you can use the DX decks with uh, these too, so that's also strangely beneficial too. Yeah, it's, the sound, it sounds very dull compared to the uh, DX one. Okay, there's a hidden sound in here. First gotta turn this off. That wasn't it. Ah! There it is, the uh, Kaiser sound. Except I think I messed it up. Okay, so to do this, like I said, you gotta turn this on as as you remove it. Two sounds in this. Hmm, there's supposed to be an exceed charge. Holding it doesn't do anything. And there's no other buttons to press, so... Oh, I guess there's no exceed charge. I'll have to look it up, though, so... I'll put it in captions if, I'll put it in captions if there is or not, isn't, so... But yeah, that's the Ryuki belt. Um, compared to what it originally does, this is not bad at all. It's a, I mean, and also the DX one also came with Zolda's deck, so this isn't the first time I did it, but uh, with the Legend series so far, I'm surprised it came with like an extra thing for you to do. And I have a bonus sound of Kaiza, if you uh, like Common Rider 5s, just like I do. So, Stay tuned.